friends, welcome to another video, I'm very excited, we're checking out a new game that just came out on Steam called Majo, Mago, I'm not really sure how it's pronounced, we are playing the demo uh, called the Villain's Burger, now I know a lot of times people think that when I play uh, non-Mario related things, it's a sponsored content, no friends, this is just a game I've been super intrigued by, because it looks amazing, look at this pixel art, you can hear the music, uh, I'm very excited to play this. So here we are. This is who we're playing as. Uh, this little mage. That's why I think it's called Majo, but I'm, I'm really not sure. But we have a jump. We have like a, a spell that we can do. And the spell then, okay, we can run much like akin to Mario. If we hold in the spell button, it lets us run. So let's fly through there. Oh, man. We got magic. I... <laughs> We got a double jump if we jump on an enemy or item or something like that. Oh my gosh. I've been very excited to check this out and share this with you just because as a huge fan of 2D platformers, and if you watch my content, you probably are a fan of 2D platforms as well. And look at this overworld map that we have. So kind of reminds you of Zelda 2 a little bit. Uh, it's free wandering. You can jump, you can run, you can walk. And then you can actually go to the level. So let's start with the very first level called Autumn Teapot Plains. I'm not 100% sure how long the demo is, but um, I'm I'm excited to play as much or as little as given because, again, just, just look at this game and listen to the music. I'm going to shut up. You guys listen to the music for a second. The sprite was dancing. All right, so we have a little burger hand that tells us where to go. All right, let's. Uh, can I? Okay, we're collecting little little gems there. I don't know what the gems do yet, but we jumped. Up. See how we hit an enemy, and then when we jump, we get a double jump. So our character actually flash. Oh. We don't know how to swim, so we don't know how to swim. That's good to know. We we want to use these little. Uh, I almost drowned again. Okay, what do we have here? Another enemy, a spike enemy. Oh, it's like a porcupine. Oh my gosh. I'm in love. I'm in love. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. It plays so good. It controls like a dream. Like, exactly how you would want a 2D platformer to control is exactly how it controls. Like, picture your favorite 2D platformer. And, uh, yeah, it controls exceptionally well and I just love the the whole double jump mechanic where if you hurt an enemy or jump on an enemy you, you get a second jump I just think that is so cool oh who is that oh that's a checkpoint okay got a checkpoint that is an intriguing checkpoint is that okay let's just keep moving on we got a burger I don't I again I don't know what the gems do I don't know I, I'm assuming burgers replenish health but I, I don't know yet. I, okay. Oh, little jellyfish creature? Is that bird wearing a top hat? Yes, it is. Um, I could not be more charmed by this game. Like, it's <laughs> so good, dude. <laughs> I'm just gonna collect all the gems. Again, I don't know what they're used for. I'm guessing it's some sort of currency. Uh, maybe you can buy items or equipment or something. I don't know. We'll see. And, oh, man. I can already just see speed runs of this game with how it controls and the way the double jump works. I just see uh, lots of speed runs coming on this game. And, uh, yeah, there's the end of the level. So if you hit that little tree with a giant star on it, it signifies the end of a level. And as you'll see down in the bottom right-hand corner, it unlocks a new level. All right, let's go. Unless, can we talk to this this individual? Uh, yo, look at this guy. Dude's got a mustache. I love that. Hello there, friend. Can I talk to you? How, how do I, can I talk? I don't know how to talk to talk to this. Who the heck are you? Who's this? Oh, so here's where the gems come into play. You can buy an extra heart. So I'm guessing. Okay, lots of different things. A, a, a new wand. 
Oh, we need we need a lot for the new wand. I, I think honestly, I think we're pretty good for now. Hey, friend, can I have your burger? Ooh, hello. A lot of interesting creatures and individuals to to see. They don't say much. I'm wondering if they say things in the full version of the game, not the demo. But there's a lot of the sprite work on this game is just phenomenal. Uh look at all these characters. I'm guessing these characters. That looks like a Pokemon. What's the, what's the name of that po- Umbreon? Uh, well, this is... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold my gushing in. I, I have a tendency to um, really gush when I'm playing something that I really enjoy, like speaking its praises, but I can't help it. When I'm really enjoying myself, um, I like to let it be known. We just turned into a bird? I, I, I don't... Okay. Okay, so the pink... That slows you down. Okay. So you, you don't want... The pink... The pink wings slow you down. Good to know. Can I, like... Can I double jump? I don't know if I can... So we're constantly moving right here. Like, even if I hold left here, uh, we are just constantly moving right. It's like an auto-scroller. Picture mine carts in Donkey Kong Country. Oh, no. I wish I would have went up top. There was, there was a lot of goodies up top, and I missed, missed a ton of goodies there. But we only have one more chance. I can only mess up... Well, I can't mess up anymore, actually. We're doing good. Got another... Okay, so we got more health. Now we can mess up one more time. I love that the levels are not too short. But also not too long, either. It's like a really good blend of length here. It's, uh, sometimes you play platformers where the levels are a little too short. You wish there was more. And then sometimes you play them like, Man, I wish this level would end. That's uh, not been the case here. For some reason, I don't know. Maybe it's because my love of Super Mario World. I love overworlds in platformers. Even if you don't think they're necessary. Maybe you think they don't really serve a purpose. I just love little touches with an overworld. A lot of people don't like platformers with, with overworlds, but... I do. So tea time with Remo. Let's go. All right. So we are on our way. Uh, again, I'm just gonna. Oops. I'm gonna keep grabbing the uh, the little gems. I don't know that I'll be have enough to do anything with in this demo, but um, I can already say after after the on the third level of the demo. I'm definitely thinking about the full version. All right. What? Oh, that's a death. Again, since this is a demo, I'm not sure what the full features will be like, but it's nice that there's like no life counter. Like you can game over and stuff. You just start at the beginning of the level. Um, really appreciate that. Uh, we're gonna keep, keep rolling along here. I will say, I I'm planning on getting the final copy or final version of this game when it comes out. Uh, it might even be out, I'm not sure yet, but Regardless, I'm going to be jamming to the music in this game. Ooh, there's like a whole secret area. A whole secret, secret, secret area. Where, where do can I go over? Okay, I have to go this way now. Be Scared me a little bit. Whoa! Found a secret. Oh, wait, what? How do I open this? Thank you, sir. May I have another? Uh, there's secrets, so that that's even more exciting. That there's secret areas to explore. Oh no! I lost my chance to get the big gem. I'm oh, sorry. We got we got a big gem there. Okay, we can go up or down. I think we want to go up here. So this is a really unique looking checkpoint, and then when you hit it, turns into a nice guy. Turns into like a nice. Uh, oh, I didn't even see the spikes there. Dang it, I didn't even see the spikes. Thankfully, we got a well-placed checkpoint right there. I'm gonna go back to the big, the big gems there. 
All right, now we're cooking. Cooking with gas, children. Yep, yep, yep. Uh-oh. This has the sounds of a boss. This has the look of a boss. This has the feel of a boss. Hello. Okay. So we gotta jump on his head. Except when he turns... Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah, he gets spikes on his head. I keep timing that wrong. We're good, we're good. I was too slow, I was, mm, I played that really poorly. I also have to say the more I'm playing Majo, Mago, I still don't know how to say it properly. The more it feels like a lost Super Nintendo game or something. Yes, Super Nintendo couldn't put, couldn't put sprite work quite like this um, back in the day, but I don't know, just the, the way it plays and the way it feels. It just feels like it was a Super Nintendo game in a former life, in a good way. All right, so now we got them. We got them tiny. Remember the iframes. That. That's our motto. There we go. I'm ashamed to say how many times I died on that. I edited it out a few more deaths. <laughs> uh, it was kind of pitiful, but we're, we're doing all right. That's uh, another level down. Oh, there's another level down here. Oh, you know, we're checking this. Out. I missed what it was called, though. Bouncing to victory. This sounds fun. This song is going to be stuck in my head all day. It's not, it's not a bad thing, though. Not a bad thing at all. Saved it. Saved it. Oh my gosh. I don't know how we didn't die there. So this level is all about utilizing our bouncing ability with a double jump. Let's go. I was going to say, this feels like there'd be a secret over here. And sure enough, if it feels like there's a secret around, boys and girls, there's probably a secret around. Extra donut, thank you. Okay, what is I don't know what this enemy is. Haven't encountered these enemies yet. I wonder if we have an air limit. Doesn't feel like we have an air limit, which I'm okay with. I, I don't I don't want the sonic music playing where we're running out of air. Most stressful music in video games. <laughs> Seem to be okay. can jump a little higher in the water, which is a really good touch. Alright, let's go. Oh no! Okay, yep. That was a really fun level. Just a really fun level. It teaches you the mechanics of the bouncing quite well. So that's, um, that was Flooded Meadow. Oh man, I don't I don't want this demo to end. I don't know how many levels are in the demo. I don't know how many levels are in the final version. This looks like it might be the end of our de uh, demo. I hope not. Cause I'm really enjoying this. I don't want it to end. Hello! I just paid 50 gems to do. Okay. We got two minutes. I'm not sure what for. I'm not sure what we have two minutes for. But it seems pretty important. Oh, I just got a negative five seconds. Oh gosh, it's like... Okay. Where, where, where... What, 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 what am I? Oh, do I gotta, I gotta kill all the enemies. I gotta kill all the enemies. Okay. Okay, I 
I think, I think. Okay, we got a key for killing all the enemies. This is kind of like a gauntlet style thing, if you will. I'm here for it. We only have, we're on to the next one. Do I gotta kill all the enemies in here too? I feel like we gotta kill all the enemies in here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna kill all the enemies. How do, I, how do I get you? How do I get the key? I will say it would be nice to have some sort of idea as to what I'm supposed to do. Because as of right now, like... What? I... I got the key! Okay. We somehow got the key when I put my magic wand through a spell at it, but I had done that before. Some sort of prompt in these, um, these gauntlet rooms would be really nice. What? Okay, we have 47 seconds. Like, I love these rooms. Really cool and fun idea for, like, a gauntlet-style rooms, but, yeah, it would be nice to have a little bit of a prompt to know what we're supposed to do. Ah, oh, you gotta start. Ah, oh, you gotta start all over. You have three hit points. Dang, dude. So we... Oh. So it starts us... Is it, is it randomized? It feels randomized. But at the same time... That felt like the same? Well, let's just keep going. We're, we're doing fine. Find the key. So now that I've played this, I understand what the... The goal is. But, the first time I played it, I had no idea what I was supposed to do, so I do think some text, some text there would be helpful. Oh, you butt, dude. I hate those little octopi. <laughs> okay, we have... I choke so bad! Eventually. Alright, gang. We have one last try. I've used up all my gem things. We gotta make this one count. We're starting off with the this room where we gotta wait. All this room needs is the, the DVD logo. You know what I mean? Because it, it's like the DVD screensaver. <laughs> ah! I, no! I don't want to take damage already, dude. This is not good. Taking damage in the first room is is not ideal, friends. We're just gonna play it and hope hope for the best. Oh gosh! And then we got to do the bird room. Mm. Not good that we're already down to one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not good at all, friends. So what exactly does this do? Oh, it gives us health! For, oh! For, in exchange for 30 seconds, we get a full health bar. Well, isn't that just nice? All this time, dude, I'm so sad. I would've just... How do I... Oh, I can... Not good, all right, that's fine, that's fine. Yikes, that was scary. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this 10, 10 second boost. That was very scary. Okay, no. We got a battle room. Oh, I hate these little things. I hate those little things. Okay. Let's... Gotta 
Kill the little squidlets thing, squidlet looking thing. Okay, one more squidlet looking thing. All right, that's good. I could use another. I could use another dinner. Yes, thank you. I will gladly take the health refill. Thank you. Do I gotta kill all these or just get to the end? Oh, that was just to get to the end. I thought I had to kill all the enemies. Okay. Bird time. Alright, come on. Oh, we did it! Yo, we did it! We got a roulette! How do I spin it? Yo, what is that? Is that new clothes? No, okay, okay. I don't want to say how much money I spent on the roulette. Because I spent a lot. <laughs> to get to the unlock the roulette. Let's see what happens with our new clothes. Is this, is this just aesthetics? Or do we get a power up with it? We do look dapper. I do think it's just aesthetic. From all I can tell, it's just aesthetics. I don't know for sure yet, but it definitely just feels like it's aesthetics. Is there anything in the menu here? It doesn't look like there's anything in the menu to tell us. Maybe maybe it is more powerful. I, I don't know. I can't tell if our wand is more powerful or not, but I definitely like this outfit. This outfit's pretty dang cool. I like it a lot. And yeah, friends, I think that was all of Majo, Mago, again, not for sure how to pronounce it. This was super fun. This was, again, not sponsored content. This was just something I've really been wanting to play. The demo just dropped recently, and I thought we could give it a try. This demo is free and open to everybody. It is on Steam right now, so go ahead and check it out. I'll leave a link. If you want to check it out, you can click it, and it'll take you to the page, and you can download it if you want. I personally am very excited for the full version of this game. I can't wait to sink my teeth more into this game. This is a lot of fun. If you like 2D platformers, this will be right up your alley. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and until next time, take care.